last time you well you just broke into the university but you you're driving off and uh talking amongst yourself in a warehouse how to approach the man in the base jacket because you learned there was a a russian club where well putting two and two together these thin bloods probably were coming from uh with a little bit of uh josh's rambles and detective work perhaps uh josh disappeared but he left you a van and a phone with google maps on it telling you where the outcasts lived because you were going to their domain uh, little Russia is in Herringy, uh, which is close to Tottenham, the base of operations of the outcasts. Uh, you had a, well, delightful conversation with them. They were friendly and uh, they didn't mind you killing anyone in their domain and pretty free spirited. Not Anarchs, but not Camarilla. Uh, you met at least four of them Jasper, the, the leader, it seems, the ventral very feminine man uh, Henri, a French gentleman noble who is apparently Jimishi because you can change people's faces and, and features uh, you had a brew girl on the roof um, had a brief conversation with her about her origins and Eliza was there as their uh, Jiminy the Cricket and she also pulled Emery aside to say, don't join the cult of Mithras for various reasons. Um, after that, he drove to Little Russia, found uh, the hammer and the sickle, the club, Russian club, and managed to do various things, some dancing, some hacking, some conversations, figure out that the owner and uh, Shimishi that you're looking for is uh, Yaroslav, and he did not seem very keen on either the, neither the masquerade or, nor um, people or kind in general. Um, deciding whether or not you wanted to fight, you decided to leave because Marie was bleeding profusely from her head and uh, I, I don't know why, uh, you, you probably figured that now was not the best time and I think Luke mentioned maybe we should come back with Gabriel. Um, outside, you were assaulted by antigen, giving you a little warning. You, a uh, few of you, or not a few of you, most of you were shot by dots. I think it's only Luke who avoided it. You haven't figured out what it is, uh, but the whole area went blank or dark, and uh, you're saved by Nemesis, who brought you to her Temple of Ramnosha, a very creepy, spooky place full of shadow werewolves and shades of. Uh, yeah, kind of, uh, I described them as the mentor looking, but that's just because they're not the usual kind of ghosts. And there was a large altar there, uh, which was calling to Luke in some weird way. And uh, Marina was there, just taking notes, really, on you guys. And we ended the session with Nemesis dropping you off in uh, your domain, close to your haven. And while all this was going on, Oliver, on the trip, you felt something drawing you in. An, ex an, expl an ex uh, inexplicable feeling. Uh, drawing you to Walton Forest, you figured out. In Walton, well, the first thing you noticed is there seems to be a gloom around the area everything seems a bit more dim and dark and everyone in the area is coughing all the humans here seem sick and different i want to call it danger levels but that's only because i can't find the right word severities um and if eventually you figure out what was calling to you or more like who it was a woman uh very alabaster skin, dark hair, had a bit of an accent. You're not sure where from, but otherwise quite kind. You had a conversation with her about, uh, well, the Cappadocians, as she described them, and that you were more than welcome to visit them, 
and that they could provide fresh corpses and other ingredients you might need in case uh, that will ever come up. Of course, in in, uh, in exchange for work. But you have uh, been granted entry to the domain and will not be harmed traversing it. Uh, not being able to find your pack afterwards, I think you probably went home to the Haven where the rest of them show up later in the evening. You have sat in the basement and listened to Alicia and uh, Emir upstairs having a delightful time. They seem to be laughing and discussing various very human mundane activities, but in a, in a positive manner. And you hear the, the ding of the bell and the sound of the rest of the pack entering. And this is uh, where I will leave the scene to you guys. And change the map on roll 20. So are we aware I would assume that Luke is at least aware that some, if not all of his coterie members, uh, apart from Oliver, uh, has ha, have gotten tranquilized or otherwise darted. Is that known? Well, they pulled it out of their arm. Um, I, I just want to make sure it's safe to assume that he would know at least some of them got shot by darts. <laughs> I think it's obvious. None of them yeah. have tried to hide it, at least. Yeah. Well, then, given that, he's going to just kind of do a group check. You know, like, how's everybody feeling? You know, you know, any any side effects? Any any queasiness? Any dizziness? Phlegm? You know, any any unusual or unbecoming effects? I want to puke, and I have not wanted to for like five years. Other than yeah. that. This is worrying. And looking, you know, um, aiming at the dot, signaling the dot. Yes, he, I'm sorry. I don't take well to massacre, and and I have like one instinct shiver, remembering the shadow werewolf. <laughs> so, so Luke doesn't. He doesn't have any medicine whatsoever, but he's going to play doctor here and he's going to like look in your eyes and <laughs> you, you, you're not, you're, you're okay. Otherwise just, just, you know, he's going to check everybody like open your eyes. Let me just check your pupils and everything. <laughs> well, this, um, taking into account, it seems to be weaponry. Um, it will be possible with that technology plus intelligent check, make myself an idea of what this could be. It will require medicine and wits. All right, then no, 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 no way. Do you need a mirror? Can I hold a mirror for you? Is it, is it all right? You're not going to start bleeding again, are you? That, it's just, no, I, I am not. It's situational. I'm sorry. Um, I'm really not asking me that. Okay, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have mentioned it. I just, you know, it's happened more than once now and I, I just it seems spontaneous honestly I don't know what causes it or <laughs> I don't work with it under stress that's mostly it you're going to do that a lot is that is that something we should expect maybe we should get you like a towel or something to like take with you <laughs> I wish it's kind of in my blood you know <laughs> yeah okay so so Tremere bleed Got it. Okay. <laughs> I want to access no, no, I don't need to hear any more. I don't want to pry or anything. I got it. I understand. Um, and Marie, and Marie, you're at Hunker Four, right? Uh, no, is this I a new? Think... Is this technically a new night? Not yet. So then, my I, should, I didn't need to rouse. Nope. Okay, so I'm not at Hunker Four. You're three. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, it's uh, you definitely smell it from Marie if she's still bleeding, but you can yeah. control yourself. Yeah, no, see, you can see a little bit yeah. of her eye twitching. So she's I... getting a little, a little more interested, but can control it for now. I mean, oh yeah, you don't bleed anymore. Nemesis yeah, fed you. I, I, yeah, exactly. That's why I'm feeling yeah. like I need to puke for some reason. I, I wonder what it could be, <laughs> but yes. Um. Alicia and Emir greet you as you enter the shop, and when uh, you, you talk about people be, being hurt, Luke, she rushes towards you to... Are you okay, sir? Nothing happened, right? 
I'm great, Alicia. I'm great. I'm so great. And and you know, these guys all got darted, but but me, you know, you know how I am. I walk I walk between the raindrops. You know, I'm I'm. Well, I, I'm I all followed good. you on the cameras, but it went dark. I have the footage uh, of well, fantastic your adventures. Yes. But, um, do you just want me to get rid of it, or do you need it for something? Ah. Uh, can is there any way to um for you to uh store it someplace safe off the grid as it were Plus. does it have anything i mean i think i think it could be useful and and maybe we could put it in some kind of cold storage or something just you know off not connected to um the internet well a hard, a hard drive in a, in a safe somewhere right Right, right. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, so so something like that. Yeah, I think I and just just one copy, just one copy, and we're not ever going to mention this to Victor or anyone else who comes by and he looks at the rest of the coterie. <laughs> like, like it's like no, no, no mentioning. This is our secret. We need to start having secrets. Like that's 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 how everybody else operates. So we need to have our own. This is going to start our pile. It's going to start a secret bank. Oliver, you so. can obviously hear all of this from below. <laughs> yeah, he's going to make his way up the stairs, so you, you'll hear heavy footfalls coming <gasps> up the stairs. Yeah, he just walks in. And he just looks at you guys, and he just sees you guys are like a little... Some of you are hurt. Some of you have like dried blood. And he just like, where have you not been? Ollie, and he's just gonna slap him like it's not. It, it looks harder than it is because Luke doesn't have a whole lot of strength. <laughs> so he slaps him, but you don't. You don't hardly feel it. And, it's like uh, a hardy, hardy sort of slap. Right. Yeah. yeah, it looks like he's trying to hit you with some force, but it just isn't. It, it's not. Yeah, he's like, "Where you been? We, we, you missed out on our on our whole on our on whole evening." <laughs> Yeah. yeah, Marie bled again. They all got shot with darts. Um, we had a grand old time meeting all kinds of interesting people. We found the guy in the beige coat. Um, we're all still alive, which I, I count as a plus. I, I feel like we're winning, you know, if we're all still alive. Who would shoot you with darts? What's that all about? That it was. It was. It was the. It was the antigen guys, wasn't it? The the government, the G-men, like what, what is that? Yeah. I mean, I thought that you know, we kind of just use that kind of weaponry. So yeah, she's fit. Do we still have one? Does anybody have a dart still stuck in them? No, but we really should check. <laughs> he's gonna be like, Dave, you're always so resourceful. Thank you. And he's gonna take this. He's like, I wonder if we can get this analyzed by anybody, like. Is there a tracker in it? Do they track us back here? Shit. <laughs> can they do that? If anyone would like to check, you can do it with uh, and he's medicine. Like, he's like, oh, but wait, maybe it doesn't work anymore. Because it's me. <laughs> like, yeah, let, me, let me take a look at it. Let me take a look yeah. at it. <laughs> and he'll, he'll take it in his hand. And you said a wits medicine? Right? Oh, oh, that was for uh, looking oh, for oh, trackers. But, uh, oh. for, uh, yeah, this is, this will be a technology thing. Technology? So oh, I, I don't have any technology. <laughs> but I, I, do have I would personally be interested in checking it for technology. I don't know anything about medicine, but I know about technology. Yeah. Let's see if there's like anything there. In here. Could I check? Yeah. If there's like a tracker. Definitely. Okay. You, you can't see if, uh, what was in it. But it's definitely something to it's 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 tranquilizer dots, but the needles are the needle is, is uh, wider. Technology and what else? Oh, sorry. Oh, well, you don't need to roll this. It's based as you don't know what what came out of it, but it's definitely something that pushed something inside your body. Uh, do you, Sounds do fun. you convey that information to us, <laughs> Emery? 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, as she's inspecting it, she's definitely going to say, you know, I don't know anything about medicine, but I can see like this contraction looks like it was like something that was like maybe spring loaded or something. So definitely there was something inserted. I don't know if it was oh a trap God. or not, but. It, it, what, what could possibly be small enough to be inserted in there? Like, I mean, I don't if know. it's not. Does like, anyone have a boot knife or something? Cause like, where did where was she hit? Uh, I think most of you are hit in the, in the arm or the shoulder. She would offer her arm, like I don't know, can dig in there. Again, which which medicine? If anyone would like to try, I don't have any medicine, but I'm really good with a blade. So, yeah. <laughs> Whatever will offer her arm like, up. Like, I have She'd one like, dot of medicine. Know. Could I direct I'll help. Luke? I don't into... have I don't have any idea what I'm doing, but I'll help. <laughs> maybe maybe Oliver could direct Luke into like uh and how to do it. Would we gain extra die from two people doing it or I like this. I mean if you have medicine you're probably the only one who can look for it. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe if there is something, Luke can help with the removal of it. But uh yeah, if you can direct size. him to, to what it is, maybe he can get at it. Yeah. I got you. Right, so I'll go ahead and roll medicine. Wits. And should I do wits? Okay. Plus your auspice. Oh, yeah. As you see medicine. Emery rolling up her, like, like, taking off her jacket or whatever, just like putting her arm on the table, waiting. All casual, like. E. Ooh, uh. <laughs> what a real or some of that? Look, <laughs> the luck is back, boys. Woohoo! Woo uh, we'll have a reroll. Is it three or two? It's... Uh, three for you. You have three failures on black dice. <laughs> two. two total. Well, that's, hey, that's two. You got, you, you're doing all right. I think. <laughs> it is a difficult Could be worse. two. Well, you kind of uh, put pressure on, on Emery's arm and just, you know. Uh, run your, your your fingers over her skin and you do feel something like a, a tiny cylinder shaped bump lower down the arm it's, a, it's, in there, it's, it's a couple of millimeters <laughs> he's like he's like looking at it and he kind of frowns there's something here Luke I want you to cut right here okay so he's gonna do that. Mm. Do I do I roll my uh, my dexterity and uh, melee for this? I know your stats, so you can probably just take half. Right. <laughs> okay, uh, but that's a... fun. I can't do a messy crit or anything. <laughs> well, that's more. You're more than welcome to roll. It's my arm. I'd rather you not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's all, I can help. <laughs> um. All right, I'll take half. <laughs> Emir, listening to the whole conversation, hands Oliver a small pincer. Just something for a, a Swiss army knife or something. Oh, I've, I've got this taken care of. He pulls out his switch, his switch blade. <laughs> I am going to close the. I am going to close the, the door. Mm. <laughs> He's like, I'm good. It's fine. But thank you for the Swiss army knife. You know, we may need that later. But just. <laughs> He's like. <laughs> well, you. Uh... It's not enough to damage you, Emery. Just a small hole. It's uh, with the very, very tip of the knife, but you managed to get something up, and it is just the size of the very tip of the knife. But you're quite skilled with your blade, and you managed to get it out without, you know, uh, drilling into her arm. Uh, he and his fingers. That's you can barely about. see it, but it's covered in blood, and uh, or not blood, and that's the that's the only reason why you can't see it, because the vampires don't bleed right so uh, but yeah it looks like a some kind of electronic device for sure uh, tracker is probably a best guess unless it's something even more sinister he's gonna hold it up <laughs> that sucks I don't know what it is but uh, you all have this in you. I mean, I don't. Not anymore. Mine's right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, oh, then we better get them out and bring them somewhere else. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know. I don't think this is being chipped is a good thing. Like, I mean, I understand it if, if it's your pet or whatever and you want to know where they are, but like, it's not good for us, right? So now we just led them back to our place here. Uh, well, we've only been here for a short amount of time, right? If we can get all of them, I can send them right back out on a pigeon. Exactly. We're going to save them. Do they still work? He's like holding it up. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, but I'd rather not be here any longer. We've only been here for, what, 30 minutes? Like, Yeah. Even less. I could think that you all just shop in here this year. This year's shop. Kiosk. Right! 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 So all we need to do is dig all of them out, and, and then Emery... You can check to see if, well, first, if it's still working and second, if the reason I ask if it's still working, if this one isn't working and all I have to do is touch any of them and they stop working, like that would be great. But furthermore, you could like study it, maybe replicate it. Uh, Emery, you help. have a shit ton of tools. So I'll allow you to make a, a wits and intelligence to figure out what exactly. Like, this could come in handy. <laughs> and Oliver, do you want to play doctor on the rest of them? That sounded mm. more dirty than I meant it to. Oh. <laughs> no, I guess. Oliver, Oliver and Luke are both playing doctor on the rest of them. <laughs> can, I, can I help Emily with um, basic knowledge? Uh, yeah, you can add an and extra technology. die for, uh, for Emory, for sure. And because this is important and, and now, so I got two... Oh, you don't, oh, you don't have, have to one. You don't have to roll again. Oh, uh, I don't? You okay. can carry over. Now you know what you're what, looking okay. for. Do you want me okay. to do uh, what's our intelligence? Uh, with, uh... Technology, intelligence plus one. There you are. Thank you. <laughs> nice. Four. That's four. 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 As you see her like looking at it. You have a, a magnifying glass and a few things to test it with. It's not a transponder. It does not send a signal. It's more like best guess you go to certain points and it makes the machine go beep mm. so it's sort of a tracker but it's not sending a signal it's it's something that's tied to access points you think for example if you if you want to make sure only the right people come into a building they they would need this chip in their arm or whatever and if they have it then they're allowed to come in there and if they don't then uh, people inside would know that they have unauthorized access but this is just used well maliciously i guess got it it's a, it's an evil pet chip yeah so they tried to make us nano pets basically they marked, oh, I think marked, so. they yeah. marked you as kindred, you think. Oh. It's a good thing we have Oliver here to, to help us with this sort of surgery. Yeah. They, they, they probably have tools to figure out who's chipped and who's not, but they, it's not sending a signal anywhere. I gotta, I gotta, I think we should hold on to these. I think I should keep mine on the pigeon. Explain that. Talk that through with me. <laughs> you know, just as like a decoy, like it will, like if we want it to, like, we, like if there's checkpoints or something that it's trying to track us on, it could send, you know, it could divide them or like really throw them off of where we're at. But if we needed it back to get in somewhere, well, we'd still have the ability to get it back. But, you know, if they see the pigeons going north and we're going south, then That's they're going to... They're gonna, they're going to, you know, send their troops or whoever the heck they are north, and that'll give us a head start when we're going south or whatever direction it is. Let me. I like where your head's at. Let me advance even a a, a different approach with this. These don't have to be, I would think, embedded in the body of someone to work. They just, they just respond passively to a scanner. So, theoretically, if I'm right about this, and he totally feels like he doesn't really know what he's talking about, but he's going to act like he does anyway, is is if you just stuck it in the... talking about this inside? 
We are at the Rosia store. We are inside. Yeah, yeah. We you closed downstairs. the door. I thought. Yeah, I thought yeah. you closed the door. Yeah, we're, we're safe downstairs. You did close the door, like... right, Marie? <laughs> <laughs> like I wasn't just like getting my arm dug in over the cabbages, you yeah, know? Right. Like... <laughs> anyways, oh. anyways, as I was saying, um, the we could just stick it in like the clothing, right? Of of like anyone, right? You see where I'm going with this? Mm -hmm. Like this could make things problematic for other people. Like our beige coated friend, you know, like like that, right? Just drop it in his pocket. And that could really make feet. things difficult for him, right? Am I wrong Whenever. about that? <laughs> Whenever you go out to feeds, perhaps you could stick it in the people that you feed on. That Next too, right? And, and they would show up, but that would be mean, Oliver, because then they would show up as us instead of. I mean, that it would be a joke, of course, because they would have vital signs and everything. <laughs> well, that's, the, that's the point. If we're being hunted, it would certainly hurt. Uh, they'd definitely mess with their data. Ah, that's true. Uh, they would get that people were tagged who were not like us. Well, maybe Perhaps we can do all three all together. We have like four of them, right? Yeah, Marie, we have them. Marie, Emery, Leo, Dave, right? So we so we give one to a pigeon, we drop one or two into the, the pants of a normal person, and then we drop one or two into the pants of, the, of someone we don't like. <laughs> you definitely Why think you if you uh, could get the proper gun for the dart, you could insert it in the like, dart again and shoot it. Or, or we could get a dart gun, yeah. <laughs> Um, I like it. Oh, you hear These the, are good ideas. The thing of the bell from upstairs again. Uh, Emir going, hey, Isa! And she comes downstairs with a, a huge, like a, a fruit bowl. And uh, it's filled with salt. Polis puts it on the coffee table. Uh, looks at you, Marie. <laughs> uh, says, you ready? I assume you have the book still? Basil pocket a handful. I'm going to make like some mental mathematics just for myself, thinking, oh boy, this is too soon. <laughs> but um, yes, I do have it over here. I'm going to you know how much to the uh, very few things we do have in this place. Um, you know what the book hidden. It's it's a uh, it's simple magic, dear, but um, it does require a lot of vite. I have talked with Emir, and we both are uh, more than willing to assist you with with the feeding, so we don't involve or risk any mortals during this project. Usually, uh, Tremere would have, and she makes a grimace, a lot of humans tied up for this kind of thing, because it does require quite a lot. But we are not like them. I'm still worried about Amir. Well, you can start with me, and if we get to the point where I'm gonna get really hungry, then. But we should get you to a point where you no longer hear your beast, just to be safe. And the only way we can do that is with kindred blood. I do feel like I'm not going. I'm not doing nearly enough to war on this, but thank you. No, I, I'm, I'm thinking of, of, of the kind here. Thank you, then. And you need safety, because if Joss is, uh, well, speaking the truth, you pissed off some people tonight, I hear. And she's smiling warmly as she says it. Yeah, that tends to be, you know, the nightlife. I mean, I, I felt that, that Dave and Leo were quite nice to them. So, I mean, they were given, they, they were shown only the highest and most respectful of manners. Yeah, I didn't really catch any pissed off of it feeling off them. They didn't like the pigeon that was flying around, but. That's you know. just part of our. our Irv, you know, like like that's just kind of how we roll. 
Maybe it's, it's just awesome. Joss who has a a negative outlook on the world. I'm glad yeah, to see you're yeah. all unscathed. <laughs> In a manner of speaking, they were all nanobotted. They what now? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm here to assist you, Marie, and what well, the rest of you, if I can. And uh, if you want to pull down the wall, I would rather not be here for that. But I have some advice if you decide to do it. Marie's got this, right? Right. You're good with this, right? You're this is this is your this is your real house. Oh, it's you're, not you're... the walls, it's just if you decide you want bigger living arrangements and she points towards the end wall. Mm -hmm. We did find out that there's some horrifying extra dimensional plane behind that wall, right? Like there's well, it's, uh, it's just a person. It's a f it's a person, just... yes, a Oh, just a person will not be my choice of words. Well, he's, he serves as a battery for a focus, but it's currently off because he's not been fed. I don't know why he is there, but I walled this section off because I didn't want anything to do with it, and I best I thought it best just to leave it alone. Isa, it might have been it might have been polite, perhaps even consider it to let us know that you were having us stay in a place that was bunking with a guy buried in the wall. I, I just, that's just me. I, I feel like that would have been useful information. Maybe. I don't know. Like I, I, yeah. I understand the rent is coming very cheap here and we, you know, those types of things are to be expected, but uh, you know, it's just, I, it would have been helpful. I do understand to, to and apologize. <laughs> I just thought yeah. to, it was best to leave it out in case you were very nosy people. What the bloody hell are you talking about? There's a guy <laughs> in the wall. <laughs> and he like looks at the wall. <laughs> like... <laughs> right? Right? That was my reaction too. Like Maria like, and again. Emery has seen this before, but now that it's pointed out to you guys, you do see a section of the wall that's been wall off. Probably there has been a a door before. But so Oliver's if, gonna listen. He's gonna put his ear to it with Osvex and just see if he can hear me. A drip, drip from a pipe. You think? Nothing more. The water damage. That's another thing that happens in these these low rent places. You know, pretty soon we'll have stains on the wall and everything. It's just, yeah, mold problems. <laughs> Well, if you want to, Isis says we can kind of tear it whole down. You guys don't need a bathroom. Maybe perhaps you need uh, a shower, but that's, you don't, definitely not, don't need a It's not going to break the lease or anything, right? It's just going to be... <laughs> no, the basement is uh, not officially on any map or okay. drawing. Unofficially sublet it. Got it. Yeah. So but if the guy in the wall is just a battery, why don't we just let him go? I don't know why he's battery. there, and he's... Have you ever woken anyone from Torpor? It's not pleasant. They tend to frenzy. But he's chained up now, and I, I don't know who, he's, who he is and why he's there. I've been trying to figure it out, but if I don't do anything I unless I'm certain. I said, if we if we tore out the wall, if we did some reconstruction here, first of all, the whole place isn't going to collapse, I assume. And so looks second at of all... For confirmation. <laughs> Is it was so and not he would do it, you know, right? <laughs> I may beam here and there and it's probably all right. You just gotta find the studs and everything. I got it. Um so uh yeah, um so once we do that, assuming we all survive that, um and we get to the individual who was ceremonially buried in the wall here, who's serving as what you call a battery for the word you use was a fergus? What could you say more about what that is for our viewers it's watching? So, it's something uh, on top of a ley line, um, empowering blood magic. Ah, 
Maybe. Your your wheelhouse again, Marie. You're all over this. This is this is this is this is just what you Tremere people do, right? You you do the whole. So my eyes, magic. It, it may what I am what I am about to do now will be safer with that. It helps. Yeah. Me, you know, I'm that. I'm here to support you. I'm here. I'm on your side. I'm on your team. You just, with an angry you just chain person on the other side. I, I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to get your back here. All right, but we have to be careful. And whatever we do uh, about that, we have to do it as a group. Okay, I'm going to hide behind Oliver here, and <laughs> and then you can go ahead and do your thing. <laughs> so right. And what was that? No. Advice you wanted to give us, Isa? Well, I told you before, it's your responsibility if you wake up, but just uh, don't remove the chains until you're absolutely sure that he's not a threat. Why don't we just kill him? Well, he's in torpor at the Is moment. It... He didn't do That'll anything. make it easy. Could Maybe he useful. could be an ally. Right! He could, be, he could be an enemy. We don't know who he is. And he just kind of looks at everybody. <laughs> we'll start slowly then. He could also Not be everything has to end in death, Oliver, okay? <laughs> he could have valuable information. But again, I'm not... I'm not sure and that's why I haven't done it. I haven't been a kindred for too long, but like this experience has told me that life is pretty cheap. That's all that's I a, know. That's a grim outlook, Oliver. That's a grim outlook. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm inspired. I think I'm gonna write a song <laughs> with that line. You know, <laughs> like that, that, that's a good one. He's, he takes out a, a notepad and just starts scribbling down some lyrics. <laughs> and Oliver gets a little frustrated because so. he doesn't feel like he's being taken that seriously and he doesn't speak up very often <laughs> anyway. So he's like... <laughs> and so he's like, I'm not trying to make a big deal about it, but if we're going to be sleeping next door to that thing and we don't know what it is, and if it's unaligned with anyone else, might be better off dead. Or we could yeah. just wake it up and be like, hello. I like that, Leo. That's, that's what I think. I think so, too. I mean, I so. they, I'm pretty sure they can't get out of there. After all, they will have already to take gold. So it should be safe unless we mess up. We just have to be careful. Yeah, Marie's going to make sure it can't do anything because of, you know, your whole... That too. He does a whole finger wiggling thing. Are you gonna pour salt on it? Is that how you do? Is it like a snail? <laughs> the, the salt is for the warts, dear. It's uh, oh. for spirits. Mm hmm. What's the worst yes. that could happen? Just in case. Right, right. Dave is so live so forever. Up. He's always so optimistic. I love your attitude. You know, just like you're you're always seeing the positive, the, the bright side of life, you know, so, yeah. I'm going to scare off a brown pigeon that's, you know, stepping on the salt. It's taking place in the fruit bowl. Uh, Emir comes down stairs with a power drill and a sledgehammer. Mm -hmm. and some wooden beams. I don't know what they're called in English, and I don't really know what the technical term for it. In Danish, they're called, so they're called soldiers. Something you stand to hold the ceiling temporarily. I don't know why, but... Mm. Uh, so, do I have to roll you anything? Are you the one wielding the sledgehammer? Can you repeat, sorry? Are you the one wielding the sledgehammer? I, I would prefer to be the one directing the sledgehammer wielder. Luke stands back. I don't do manual labor. <laughs> Oliver will take the sledgehammer. <laughs> and, uh. Thank you, Oliver. What do you, what do you want me to hit? 
<laughs> I'm well... going to point him at the <laughs> at the points that you know it will and it will not hurt the structure so that we all end you know completely in thump. Yeah. Uh, and uh... strength. Uh... Melee or yeah. <laughs> Maybe well, let me check something. I was about to do that. Cancel. He doesn't get anything on his clothes. <laughs> do I do I add potence to this or not? I've never had potence before. Uh, so. Not before your uh, second dot. You can use prowess. Okay, that's what you, I was but thinking. You, you figure out that your hands are just as good as the sledgehammer. Oh. Hmm. So next time you just punch your way through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> no, he'll hit it a few times and then he'd be like, just kicks it and it breaks down just as much. So you kick down the newest part of it where the, the door has been. There is a wooden beam uh, behind the... <sighs> What's the, the part that's in front of the brick? Mortar? Yeah. No. Drywall? Drywall. Thank you. And uh, there is a wooden beam where a door frame used to be. And uh, open up into a dark, moist chamber. Very humid. Very warm for some reason. I'm just going to reveal the room. Sorry for a non updated map. The first thing you see when you get in there is a, a guy chained to a cross. It's not a crucifix, it's a symmetrical cross that's standing on. On both of its legs, so to speak, like a, like an X, kind yeah, of thing. Like, like, like an a, X standing X. Like X cool. marks the spot. This guy is like uh, a buried treasure. And he's chained to that, and there are chains going from the the cross to a stone altar where a um, uncut ruby, it looks like, about the size of a fist, is hovering about a small metal pedestal. Anyway, I call occultism plus intelligence or whatever this is. Oh, it's probably the focus. But you can see it's not, it's not activated. There's mm -hmm. magic suspending the crystal, but the uh, focus is, well, off. Mm -hmm. uh, the guy hanging out across, he is. I'll send you a picture. Uh, da, da, da. I assume it's dark in here. Yes, it is. There okay. are no lights, but I'm going. I'm going to go all black eyes flashlight. then. Yeah, and I think someone has a flashlight, but I assume Oliver is the first one going in. I think you can see it in the dark as well. If anyone's not going in, that's also totally fair. Where is my mm. Discord? Yeah, Oliver doesn't trust this, so he's not going in. He's just looking. Looking. He thinks this whole thing is crazy. That's his whole demeanor. He's like, "You guys are, you guys are nuts." We are. And he's going to so... grab, like, some, like, obscure weapon. Like, not like a, a weapon, but a tool that could be, like, a blunt force object. And she's just going to walk in, like... She just grabs it out of out of Emir's... Or, uh, she, has bags. she has bags of tools and stuff. Like, she has chainsaws <laughs> okay. and stuff for, like, little, like, hatchet. She just pulls out a chainsaw. <laughs> like, a, an ice pick or something <laughs> random. Uh, the man on the cross <laughs> is no. wearing a leather jacket. It looks like it's from... Well, it's not Matrix era, it's more like Victorian London. And, uh, well, boots, same kind of thing. Not f fine boots, but they're high, they're about knee high. He has some gloves on and a, and a hood. Uh, and a uh, mask, you think, because his face is black from the way he's just hanging with the hood over his head. Uh, look, you're probably the only one who can see if you look from yeah. Below, uh, he, he does have skin and eyes. It's not a a shadow man hanging on on, but he is uh, covered. His eyes are closed. Obviously, he is. Uh, his skin looks a bit. I want to say mummified, but it's too humid in here. It just looks leathery, cured even. Uh, there's a lot of boiler in there and a tub. Filled with black water as well, and that's the only Outst thing in the room. Outstanding. How's the smell in here? Well, it, again, humid, moist. But it smells like mold, algae, uh, 
there's a lovely uh, bouquet, right? You know, it's it's a uh, it's it's, it's so an different. Aroma. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 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 It's, a, it's hear, a lovely uh, aroma. You can hear Emir upstairs uh, spraying Febreze or something. <laughs> <laughs> so with Emery seeing some of this, you know, I imagine she has like a pick over her shoulder. Would she, she knows a little occult? Would she be able to get any idea of what this is? Kind of seeing like this little altar kind of thing. Like she knows a little bit about religion and stuff. Like. Well, Along with that, does it look similar at all to the altar that we saw in um, Nemesis hideout? I don't. No, I don't know. Okay. Not the same. Okay. Uh, this is... <laughs> I'll let that... Oh, you would have to do a really, really insane occult roll, but uh, you are lo you're welcome to try. This okay. is, uh, what would I do occult with? Uh, intelligence. Other than the the information you're already told that it's a focus and it's on top of a ley line, but okay. to to see the maker of it, you would need something that's at least a difficult five, uh, difficult to five. I love those messy crits. <laughs> okay, so she's gonna um, re-roll. because <laughs> I feel like five is really good, but also I'm gonna re-roll just in case. So I got uh, seven. Um, I don't think you oh, have to roll, right? You could only re-roll one dice. Yeah, well, black is only only wants. one black oh. was a failure. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, sorry, oh, you can reroll re to ten if you don't want a messy crit. So you can technically reroll re two okay. black dice. Mm. We need the crit. Take the crit. <laughs> what, what if I would? I mean, messy crit. So I'll take the five. One, then. That's fine. Five of them. I mean, I'll find something out. I guess that's pretty good for uh, yeah. Marie. You want to roll as well? Yeah, I would like to roll though. I asked before, it would be nice, so... Uh, Cultism plus intelligence. And no, I'm not going to roast for this. It will be, you know, your advice. Yeah, I'm taking that. <laughs> I'm going to start with you, Marie. Uh, it's not Tremere. It's uh, not Tremere. <laughs> it is... Well, you see... Arabic, you think on it, and your best guess is this Arab is Hakim? the Banu Hakim mm -hmm. or Asamites, whatever you prefer to call them. Same. Uh, Emery, you're in a nos trickies. This is a secret. You can see it's Banu Hakim. You even know Arabic, and you see the text. Describing what it is, you are not that familiar with blood magic, but you would definitely be able to write this down and figure out what it is, and that is what you become obsessed with. Figuring what this says, you can read it from normal Arabic, but it does not make sense when you just read it. And you also need to know who made it. You're a bit... Uh, absent-minded at the moment with your obsession and kind of uh, you, the rest of you see her very close to the altar maybe not talking to herself but at least taking notes i assume if not mentally but she seems like the rest of you guys don't exist right now okay i've gone full like magic school bus into you know down the hatch <laughs> yeah you're just all in on this you're, you're completely in the zone What's an Asamite doing here? Are they what now? Well, don't we have one with us? Like, can't we can't we ask our our Banu Hakim uh, uh, mm -hmm. advisor here? There are only two in the city, I think. Mm -hmm. One of them is no, sorry, not one of them. Both of them are called of Mithras. Yeah, not really. An option then. I thought Isa was one. Well, I'm Tremere. I guess I was wrong. Oh. oh. Kana. <laughs> My apologies. You all look the same to me. <laughs> that takes magic, right? No, 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 no. I, I don't feel like I would do very well as an assassin, dear Luke. Uh, I'm uh, way too polite and care too much about people's lives. Oh, right. And do not diabolizing too? people. Right. I've noticed oh, that Marie bleeds a lot. Do you bleed too? You bleed too, don't you? 
Oh, <laughs> only when I want to. Okay. But she has a... A rare thing. It's not a Tremere thing. It's a Kinta oh. thing, but... but oh, okay. Uh, she led me to believe it was a Tremere thing. Okay, I, I understand. I, I don't know what it is exactly, but I've only seen it in a few individuals during my uh, two centuries. It's kind yeah, of embarrassing. What are you looking at? <laughs> like they the are in the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's just having this very awkward conversation with Isa. <laughs> So uh, our living quarters just expanded into a deleted scene from Saw. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> we don't like this. Except the man still has his leg. Can I say, can you read this? I'm saying that in because uh, unless I am allowed to do an academic plus whatever goal for linguistics, I don't think I will understand the Arabic. Uh, yeah, I, it's my Arabic comes from the Quran, but she squints her eyes a bit and says it's not really sentences it's words but it's encrypted yeah no not and very banu hakim i think mm -hmm. i'm going to look at the ruby flow then i think this is what it's you know that turn on button the what again? You know, the turn on a switch. I think uh, if you feed him, it's gonna turn on. Hmm. I'm going to look at, you know, the guy. Maybe he did it to himself? What if we cut him down? Uh, some, uh, people, some people have kinks like that, right? The Bano I mean... Kim are, uh, <laughs> right. are judges, right? So someone judged him and probably put him there or oh, they're just beginning, power hungry i'm beginning to think that oliver was sort of kind of maybe right that this guy was probably not a good person to deserve or, such a fate here i don't know or maybe bad people didn't like him it's true it's hard to tell the bad people from the other bad people so we have the more angle which is like we don't know this guy and unless we wake him up we probably never will because the other Two Asamites that go share with us, are, I don't think they are that approachable. We could use him as in, you know, wake him up. In case you're interested, it will basically make your heaven more secure. It will make it harder for someone like, you know, um, or friendly warlock to come in. Well, at least in the long term. Um, we well, we're not in any this. hurry, right? We can just kind of leave him hanging here, right? He can just be decoration. I mean, we could just leave him be, but that's the zero option, and I think we should vote for it right now. We try to use it for our own safety. We try to interrogate him, maybe both, or we just leave him be. Or we go Oliver's way, and I signal to Oliver, and we cut him to pieces. My thoughts are this. Dave? Not to Dave. Uh... Oh, sorry. Just finish and I'll continue. <laughs> He's just gonna not to say goes by when we're not threatened by someone. And the people who are kind to us do so because they want something from us. And he looks over at Isa. Right, I... I'm not in the business of trusting anyone. Well, so far we are... Well... Alive and alively. So I think... We should at least have a minimal of trust, of trust in, that, in that regard. I trust you guys to do the right thing. I want no part of releasing him or at least not before we talk to him or keeping him as a pet or a guard dog or a battery. I think that's very monstrous. Uh, but. We do have to trust each other, and I do not want to limit anyone's freedom. That's, that wouldn't be very anarch of me. Mm. And if this guy is, well, not a bad guy, then we should probably free him. But I don't want to wake him either. I would like to figure out more. And she looks down at Emery, who is not paying attention to any of this, and says, maybe we can do some research before we 
turn him on? Make an informed decision. I, I'm, I'm, in, I'm, I'm going to back this play. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. I, my outlook is not as cynical as as Oliver's, but I see where he's coming from. I also am not as optimistic as Dave, but I also see where he's coming from. And I, I you know, agree that with Leo that it smells terrible in here. So I'm just going to. Uh, like let's just go ahead and, and break up the wall again you know um and, and we can kind of kick this decision down the road until we know more right like Why can't we just we can leave the room something. open well because it smells terrible like you said i just said it looked like a scene from saw enough smell. perfume and it'll be fine oh okay well if you can take care of the the hor horrible aroma i can't Honestly, like I can't imagine. You don't sleeping. need to breathe. Why are you, you using your nose? I, I know, but it's just the principle of the thing. Like I wouldn't want anybody I cared about sleeping in a place like this. Who knows what might happen to them? You know. You could so. just cover it over with a tarp, uh, duct tape the air holes, then maybe put like a dresser over it. I like, like both of these ideas, the perfume as well as you know, like like what Oliver just suggested. I, I, I I'm here for solutions and and those both sound like great ideas so right, just... mothballs can get rid of the smell of dead flesh it's really quite useful <laughs> uh... right exactly that I'm here for that right I the see our coterie pulls together in time you know in in times of, of great importance so yeah yeah uh... I'm not really sure I didn't need that. <laughs> Before you guys go to continue the conversation, uh, Dave, you you start to see colors, like the water bleeding rainbows. He's uh, having a trip. <laughs> uh, they turn into stars in the room or little motes of light. And then you hear a, an, an unknown voice. Well, I say voice, but it feels more like a a rumble. Just trying to circle through ways of communication. And then you feel like something sticks and you you hear a voice, but you don't understand the language, yet you do. And he... You think it's a he, says, I can hear you, and I would like to be free. Josh? No. Hmm. I am right here. And you feel your attention drawing to the man, but he's not moving a bit. And no one else appears to be hearing anything or... Oh, they, they're talking, but they're kind of muffled at the moment, too. We'll do the normal thing, just listen, nodding to himself. <laughs> What's it worth? My freedom? Mm-hmm. What do you want? Hmm. What can you offer? I have no idea. Have a think. I don't know who I am. But I have been listening to you since you arrived here. You can listen in on all of us. I am awake. Just... Just what we say, not what we think. Do the rest of us hear him like talk? Is this in his head or is it this completely is he vocalizing? In to okay, you, he's just right. standing there and nodding. Okay, okay. Yeah. Do you have like some fluorescence here in the background? <laughs> I am uh, like you guys. For all of us. I feel a connection through and he's, he says it with a question but blood who put you here I don't know hmm 
but you can hear what we say, not what we think. Is that right? I can hear what you think when we are talking. Um, guys, I think we probably need to get to take care of him or do something with him because when you really uh, vibes here. when you talk, the whole kind of vision fades mm. and the whole room becomes normal again. And the conversation. I think we should probably take him to pieces, Oliver. Piece by piece, start now. <laughs> no, <laughs> we should check out that creepy ass bathtub Hi. first. He can hear everything that you're thinking. What? Especially you, Luke. He knows exactly what you've been thinking, all of your little secrets, and he's going to share them with everyone. Something about. I agree with, I agree with David Oliver. We should chop the body up in pieces. <laughs> he said also, Emery. He he was listing all the things you've ever done. He's if we well if we let him go, if we wake him up, he's going to turn on all of us. Is there a way to read into if Dave is lying or not here? <laughs> uh inside <laughs> yeah i think it's uh inside uh what's inside versus uh manipulation subterfuge i'm going to lose this so hard <laughs> got the torches I mean, it's just that's a theory. Mean, but maybe we should, maybe we should not be so aggressive. I don't think you need to roll, Dave. <laughs> I don't know. Make your own uh, interpretation of it, I guess. It's, has Dave ever lied to us? Like, you know, <laughs> he's been a constant friend to all of us, and and I feel I mean, that, kept, that you know, I I mean, think he's people. really just worth it. <laughs> I mean, he has framed people in our presence. Is Emery still like no side reading, or is she? Yeah, realizing you're, you're, that you're, you're, you're you're partly listening to the conversation, and when people mention your name, you're definitely paying attention. I think Emery would hold up her hand, like, "No, we're not killing anyone. Uh, whoever it was that said that we need more information was right." Uh, but and then she'd say, "I don't know who wants to murk this guy, but." Um, Oliver's already picked no, up no, the no, 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 he's, like, he's not going to do it, but he's... No, 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 no. <laughs> I imagine maybe she, like, gets in front of Oliver as he's walking in, and, uh... Why don't you so... go check out the bathtub instead, Oliver? It's filled with some creepy gunk. <laughs> he's like, I'm not going <laughs> to... It's not where the dripping there. is coming from. You figure out. A very slow drip. Of I'll water? I'll do yeah. it, uh, but I'm gonna need some like latex gloves or something. Like I'm not gonna reach in. There. I'll immediately give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he's so Luke is going to uh, he, just because because um, it, it's something we haven't checked out yet, and he's he can't help himself. He's a little curious about this bathtub and the dripping and where it's cut, you know, all the water is coming from and everything. So he's going to check to make sure that like the faucets and everything are turned off or not. And then he's going to like reach in only, only as far as like the latex gloves, like cover his arm. <laughs> like, Cause he doesn't want to touch whatever's in here. Like it's just, he doesn't know what that Put is. Put your hand in and yeah. something grabs your back. You almost oh. feel like. But oh, it is oh, it is dead. Me. You're just grabbing it's, an arm. A very it's got me. It's got mushy, me. <laughs> rotten arm. Yeah. So like it's grabbing on to Oh, you just feel that like like it's that for a moment because you're grabbing an uh, uh, He's gonna freak out. Arm, he's just gonna it's like, it's not so actually got me. It's got me. <laughs> <laughs> it just, it just, it just <laughs> go lose it. It's just like it's got me. Oh my god! Help! <laughs> Oliver's not entering the room, but he kind of like holds up the sledgehammer for a second. Like he's not gonna go in to help him, but he's just holding Kill up it, like Oliver! something comes in. Kill it! <laughs> well, you hear the crack when it rips from uh, the socket, and there's a a rotten arm kind of attached to Luke's, but he's probably just panicking because he's holding on to <gasps> it and squishing his fingers into the moist rotten flesh. Uh, oh god! Exactly. That's... The smell in here just got nicer. Nice. 
He's just retching and like. Oh, lovely. Fresh necrosis. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this was your fault, Leo. This was your idea. <laughs> Stop flinging the arm. <laughs> I mean, you have to admit it, Leo. It's a disarming argument. <laughs> I feel like I need to, uh, I'm going to edit I'm in going to... like a brunch. <laughs> <laughs> what a strange stop, scene. Luke. <laughs> so please relax time and then I'm going to see a pigeon that's starting to poke the cloak of that person. No, 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 give me this! I'm going to scare it off. And see, proceeding. All right, so activate this cool. We agree on not to kill this guy, please? That is not yet settled. Dave, what are you talking about? It's it's just a, a hunch. <laughs> just say <laughs> him over a hunch? Okay. How can we a hunch not be saying eat. he can hear our thoughts? <laughs> he can sense what we're thinking. And he's been listening to us since as long as we've been here. One second. Especially Luke. Yep. <laughs> Still flailing around on the ground, like... <laughs> of course, it's like I don't flailing. think he's sensing much, then. I'm going to say his love. <laughs> whispering. Well, I mean, that's concerning. But we still don't know anything about him. How do you know that? Uh, just a hunch. Can I go inspect his clothing and see how old they are? The corpse or the man? All right, the so man. I'm not touching that man. <laughs> uh, you think uh, late 18th century, early 19th. But it's in okay condition? Just so he's been here for at least a century, maybe? Or at least uh, he kept up with the... Well fashion back then but it's not he's not fashionable fashionably dressed or anything like that it's just uh, you don't see these kind of knee-high boots anymore really and the gloves and he to who looks like a victorian era hobo <laughs> but he has a mask on his face which is the weird thing and when you look at you you think there is a uh it looks like a a a loop with an eye in the middle on the mask and kind of a star around it or at least star points I'll like grab some paper and like uh, sketch out the mask uh, so we have a visual representation of it Emery you have figured out with that, that apparently but it makes no sense to you it's something about deflecting the mirrors of God Uh, so coming from her like crouching like area where she's kind of going back and forth, she will relay that to them and about the reflection of God. Does that does that make sense to anyone? I haven't been to mass in like I don't know my entire life, so I don't know. Like, I suspect uh, it's not like I'm keeping that much up with my faith. To be honest, I am technically Muslim, but it does not ring a bell. And what did it say again? Uh, something about the deflection or uh, pushing away or disrupting the mirrors of God. Does that ring a bell? I don't know. I don't know. There's no mirrors in this room, though. So I mean, maybe it's like a metaphorical mirror, like, you know, the reflection in ourselves. No, yeah. let's grab it. Isis says, I like it. Anyway, anyone know what this mask is? We pull, uh, pull, it, pull, do you pull it off his face? Sure, why not? Well, beneath the mask, you do see a man. He has a short, scruffy beard. Uh, like, uh, well, it's probably been more, but it's... I don't know if rotten off or, well, whatever happens to Kindred when they're in top of it too long. You see the leathery skin. Uh, 
his mouth is forced open with some kind of device so you also see the fangs so it's just easier to pour something in there kind of like what a dentist would use and uh uh well his eyes are closed and uh you you're not sure because of the skin color but you think he's caucasian I mean, he's easy to feed, at least. I guess we could give him a drop of blood. You said a minute ago to chop his body into pieces. Well, no, no one seems to be that interested or that worried, so we could... I, it's more like... I said, you know where we could know, learn more about him maybe someone else who is notable on the movements of Asamites in London maybe. maybe if we had someone from the cult we could trust or I don't know we, can't, we definitely can't trust Victor with this but if we want to act to talk to actual Banu Hakim, so we can contact the cult. It's a dangerous endeavor, but I believe at least one of them likes one of us, and she looks at Emory. Uh, She'll give a smile. Oh. Either that we go through links, favor to favor to favor, and uh, go up the chain. I know the Spymaster's daughter apparently is with the outcasts, so that's a link of some sort to Mithras. Or maybe we just go to the people who know all the secrets and talk to the Nos. I mean, Arthur is more than a millennia and has been in London all this time, so if anything knows, anyone knows more about this city, I, I, I don't think so. But again, all this requires boons. I could check my library for whatever I have and go through it on uh, on the culture. But I think this is not as mundane as we want it to. I don't think, you know, doing all that boon housing is going to do us any good. Well, maybe we can avoid that. I don't know how you work. And again, she looks at Emery. Can you talk to your clan and figure out at least how much it would cost us? Uh, can do, can do. I think I, uh, I, I have some things that I can bargain with. So, um, yes. Well, once we do, once we do that, we will keep up and decide what we're going to, going to do with him. Until then, we can postpone it. Yeah, you should probably walk the whole place before you wake him. Hmm. Also, in case that... will take a while. I know. You have the rest of the night. I'm here to assist you with anything you need. And the rest of you guys can, well, do whatever you want. I don't think you're going to be doing any more... Any, uh, any people more favors tonight since Fight Club is still going on. It's, yeah. at, it's at this moment that Luke rips off the latex glove with a <laughs> just drops, drops the dismembered arm onto the floor, takes off the other glove and storms out. Just like, I can't handle this anymore. I'm not, this is not what I was signed up for. Alu I'm not Al doing this. Alicia is of course rushing you. They're rushing to you downstairs and, 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 yes, and yes, trying to like, figure out what's wrong and calm you down. It's like, and... nope, nope, we're turning around. I, I can't. I need. I need some fucking air. <laughs> um. Before we break, I would like to hear people's uh, downtime. I already know what Marie is going to be doing, warding the shit out mm -hmm. of the, the place, and of course we have to do a couple of rolls for that. Um. But. Uh. Oh, before. I was just checking my list. Upstairs, Emir yells, Leo, there's something for you. Um, what? 
Did it say, uh, it's a covered clothing rack with a little card attached to it. And you see the delivery man, he's exiting the shop as you, uh, come upstairs and drives away. Um, it's just a, a little card, a little cardboard card with a lipstick kiss, and it's signed, uh, your favorite primogen. And it's uh, six different <laughs> outfits, and they're at least 20 grand worth each. At oh, least. Yeah. <laughs> and that, I'm talking pounds. <laughs> oh. Damn. Yeah. Low end for Leah. And Leah it's in, uh, these <laughs> they're all in red nuances. Not the same red, but uh, she uh, stuck to the theme. Leo is just gonna care. Carefully get all those clothes <laughs> downstairs. Are you sure it smells? They are wrapped in plastic at the moment. And keep them in the bathroom, yeah, yeah. which is somehow yeah, the cleanest use part the in this place. Anyway, <laughs> that's where Luke talking. is sleeping tonight <laughs> in the bathroom. Um. I, so you you you're spending your downtime figuring out where to store this safely, uh, or yeah, along yeah. with all of the other clothing that I still have lying in the one bed. Yeah, well, you have no space now, at least in the basement. Uh, but you might need a dehumidifier down there at some point. Um, anything else you want to do with your time downtime? And uh, it's probably around uh, two max three hours till dawn. I can come back to you if you want to think about it. Yeah, I'd rather think a little bit. Yeah. Um, Oliver, anything uh, you want to do with the, the rest of your night? Would there be enough time to go take a little walk in Camarilla territory? <laughs> in line with what I, I uh, DM'd you earlier. Or no? Uh, I would like to know who you specifically want to seek out. I mean, you've been shown a map of the domains, but you don't exactly know where mm. Peevil Haven, Havens are. Unless you want to go directly to the prince. You can't miss his buildings. He, yeah, he's just going to walk into the... It looks more like a building. giant tree every single night. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's like a, like a zoo greenhouse in there. Right, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, he's going he's gonna to go to that building. Uh, but your intention is is to seek someone out that can get you in contact with Victor. Yes. Yep. Yes. I'm gonna come back to that. Dave. Rest of the night. I think I'm gonna get away from that room of the arms. I'll give um opt to give Leo a bit of hand, um with uh, keeping everything nice and safe and smell free. Plus, I need to pick his ear and try and work out how he can make himself so glamorous. Draw everyone's attention to him, that sort of thing. That's actually a conversation that I would like you guys to have as you're doing this cleaning, so... Uh, I know it's downtime, but it can be a brief thing, or... Uh, we can come back to it, if you want to. Yeah, I'll come back's fine. Yeah. Uh, I'm moving this way. Emery! Rest of the night, three hours. Oh, I need to slake my hunger. I want to make use of my herd yes. and uh, not be so frenzied. Yes, the, that's definitely, it does not take you three hours. So if there's more you would like to do. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think that she would do one of two things. Uh, she would probably look to putting her little um, chip tracker thing on a pigeon and send it like just like a block away mm. and then um the other thing is getting a burner phone yeah uh yeah because nemesis fried all your phones again yes um luke rest of the night alicia is uh, hovering over you and making sure you're comfortable or at least trying to he he's he's doing his best to to try to just put the whole incident with the 
dismembered arm and the corpse in the bathtub and everything else out of his mind, but failing hard on that. Um, he is going to be like, Alicia, just just set up a, a performance, someplace quiet, someplace small. Tomorrow, I need some kind of therapeutic playtime. You know, just, you know, just uh, get reconnected with, with who I who I am when I'm not reaching into black bathtubs, black. I found this liquid. really nice little quaint place. It's it's small Thank you. and you so can only call, only sit like private, twenty people. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah, just that, just the impromptu surprise event again. You know, li very limited, just VIP. Yeah, just, and he's clearly just distressed. He's like, oh, God, you know, and so. Yeah, that's what he's going to do. And then he's going to go curl up and rock himself to sleep in the bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? <laughs> oh, no. I think we only oh, have oh. the one bathtub. Uh, the, the shower. Well, there's technically the a shower. The shower is gone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I have a question. Yes. For XP expenditure, I wanted to learn uh, one level of dominate. Ooh. Is that I am already packing on a lot, but I didn't know when I could learn that. Uh, you would have to figure out who has it and learn it from. Uh, them. I or... so for feeding my herd has a resonance. Uh, I'll allow it in this case. Usually, I would like to know before the session or after, but it's fine. It does not impede anything that I have in mind. Uh, okay. Uh, Leo, did you think of anything else you want to do? I, uh, Dave is at least trying to uh, help and be helpful. Uh, I'm going to check if Emir has any bleach, and if so, definitely just start, just start pouring that onto the bathtub. <laughs> to try and try to drain it if possible. Yeah. That's not hard to do. Uh, and then Marie. We get to the fun part. First, a question. You war against ghouls. That is a singular object. Be usually it's like a door handle or a steering mm -hmm. wheel or something like that. But because I'm nice, I'm gonna rule that you can do it on a door. All but right. nothing bigger than that. Your circle is obviously the entire basement. Mm -hmm. uh, but I need four rouse checks total from you all right yes i would like to and, start. and uh hear your uh your plan for not frenching during all this yes that, that would be nice so uh two factors please first one um if possible probably after the break or all the seasons you would prefer I think I would like to use one of my words on a list and have an, a scene about it with Luke. Um, it would be nice if anyone else wants to be involved, but you know, other than that, that's fine. And it's possible Luke will say when he likes it the, more, the most. And second part, <laughs> we are in a hidden infested because we have been here for a while now with the Nosferatu um, Bane and I seem to remember that did affect any activities while within the Haven. Those that apply to my rituals. Ooh. Because there will be pigeons flying all over the place. Oh, yeah, uh, uh, she. Uh... I seem to remember it was like there... vision post too. But yeah. I'm. There. I'm technically out. Like, if you're warding right now, I'm out getting my phone and all of yes, that. Yes, but it's the heaven. So uh, that's why I'm asking. I don't know how he's going to do it, but maybe it's something to consider. Consider. Well, it's, uh, it's not the bane, it's the compulsion in this case. Um, no, I mean the, the bane of pigeons flying out. Yeah, yeah, but it's a messy crit or a beast of failure. That's a beast of failure in my mind. Uh, that's what shit goes wrong, really, really wrong, and uh, Emery gets a lot of minus dice to everything she's doing, but this is not a failure, this is a crit. Which is why All she's right. just hit with her compulsion of being nosy and wanting to know everything. Alright, alright. Mm. Okay, uh, but you had a good point with you're gonna need some of Isis' blood and some of Luke's blood mm -hmm. to make so that Emir and Alicia can open the door without going boom. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Which Luke will give you reluctantly, but he'll be like, and fine. Even, even Emery, if the pigeon needs to open right, the door. <laughs> right, because the pigeon is technically a ghoul, right? <laughs> But, Chip just kind of flattens against the window. <laughs> well, exactly. But also, there's another fifth word I would like to do on analyze in the future whenever Luke is available. Oh, the, her, the hurt word? Yeah, the hurt one. Well, we can uh, well do as much as, as you have blood to do. Exactly. Um, so, so we can start with... I'm going I to guess, start with the gold one, gold one. That's just a, a single rouse. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, too, because blood potency, it's still a level one hit boss, if I remember right. So, the rerolling rows checks for discipline and rituals because of the blood potency. Oh, yeah, if you, if you, if you fail, but I, I don't know, do you have level one at blood potency? One? Yeah, yes. uh, yeah. yeah, we have level one. We are not thin blood, I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, if you fail it, you can definitely re the the level ones. Uh, right. success Ooh. yeah so I'm going to do the cool one just fine I'm going to add the blood from the pigeons <laughs> I'm here I'm from you know Alison Emir to do the door I explained to everyone else what it does basically if people touch it I will know it and they will not be able to see their goals it doesn't affect normal mortals, mortals just goals and then oh boy do you want to do people. the hurt ward before the spirit ward what? Because Can you repeat? Do you want to do the hurt ward before the I spirit? I think the hurt one will leave it for later because I'm probably going to be really hungry after this and maybe I have to feed on all that. Uh, so, Isis is there for support and she is holding one. She is holding up. Second one? Wow. <laughs> or or wow. And then I said, oh. That was four successes in a row. <laughs> well, apparently you have, you have plenty of blood inside here. Uh, you usually go to four hunger, so maybe this is karma, you know, yeah, exactly. balancing the scales. But this, I am uh, I'm so cute. this is an endeavor that takes most of the night for you. It, All right. it does take a while. And if you would like to, now that you are not a hungry girl, do you want to do Alicia as well? You do have the time. Yeah, actually, yes. While I'm, you know, I'm using this knife, I'm making a deep cut in my arm, I'm just soaking it in this salt, just. I'm carving the, the glyphs, which are more paganistic, like European paganism, that classic, um, classical, hermetical, um, quasi, like, it's less Egyptian geographics and more like paganism, um, signatures like the cross, um, the triple, uh, the, the triple, uh, what do you say? It? The triple cross and all that. More like you will see a classical witch in witch in the in the stories crawling and doing in ritualistic behaviors that you know classical hermetic fashion fashion and it's going to look quite like you know these movies from the 80s 90s of Sabrina and all that just making this magical stuff but way more creepy with all this bitai kind of crawling around and moving. To, towards the levers, like forming themselves along the shapes and just filling everything in. Yeah. And once I'm finished with that, I'm going to proceed to the Alice one. I'm going to make a hair work, which is going to be one hanger again. I'm actually to be at three hunger now. Uh, just for, for well, mm -hmm. reference and explaining the mechanics. If anyone but you or Luke feed on Alicia, they're going to go boom. Actually, I want to ask Lux if I want to include him as well. And I yeah, I mean, like, I mean, maybe he does not want to fit from at least even in a dire scenario, like a frenzy. That's why I'm doing this. He is Luke is not going to feed on Alicia. Exactly. That's why. But, I'm but she does feed from him. So does that, would that, that impact it no, at all? No, that, okay, that doesn't right, impact. Okay. It just you feeling from her. 
Okay, so, yeah, yeah, he's not going to feed on her. I'm going he, to he's got it. plenty of other options he's going to take before he feeds on Alicia. That, that's Alicia's why off I want, limits. Yeah. That's, that's why so you want to make it later. I would like to make it a minute. Yeah, you don't need to do that right now. He, he he's, he's kind of a little bit repulsed by the idea of feeding on her. He's not, he doesn't feel that, you know, that's that's what he wants to do. He exactly. Did, he, well, now you can't. Said. Even if you're yes. frenzy. You yes, know. exactly. Yeah. Even if if frenzy. I frenzy, we'll deal with it. But, you know, uh, it's, it's one of those things where I'm not going to, yeah, I, I yeah. usually don't have Alicia around. If, if I, if I if messed up and I frenzy around her, it's a bad time anyway. So, so <laughs> That's why I want, would like to make it a scene. I think it would be cool. But yeah, for now, basically, at least it is protected from feeding from any kind of kindred. Yes. Yeah, I'm always I'm always role play first and, and strategy later. And honestly, role playing, he would never even want to conceive of doing that. So he's not even going to uh, entertain that notion. Yeah, I, I know. It's just that, you know, yeah. you never yeah. know what it might happen. 